I bet if I said to you, quick, think of somebody in your life who has struggled with addiction, you wouldn't have to think very long at all, would you? You see, addiction is all around us. It's a struggle that we all seem to face and we all seem to go through. The question is, once we are in and consumed and struggling with addiction, how do we get through it? Last year, a poll came out about my town, Crossville, Tennessee. It was actually Tennessee's most dangerous cities and Crossville was number one. Now, if you knew Crossville at all, you would laugh at this because you know that Crossville is not dangerous at all. We uh, overall have very low violent crime. It's a very safe place. I grew up here my entire life and yet we are ranked above places like Memphis and Nashville. How is this possible? And whenever I really got looking in the article, they were basing it on crime rates per 1,000 and we being a smaller town, of course, that we had a little bit more crime per 1,000, but it was all, mostly all drug related. And it's funny that despite the addictions that I've struggled myself and the addictions I've seen all around me almost my entire life, I talk very little about addiction. Yet it's a problem that is plaguing our society today. Whenever I taught a message to my students and asked if they knew someone in their life who was addicted, every single one of them raised their hands. Addiction is all around us. And I'm betting every one of you know someone who has struggled with addiction. I'm betting many of you watching this video have struggled with addiction and are still currently struggling with addiction. If that is you, just know you're not alone and you're not beaten, that you can overcome and you will overcome. And if you've never struggled with addiction, then I wanna tell you just a couple things. Don't start. You see, addiction starts off very innocent. Addiction starts out as just a good time, just a couple of friends, just hanging out, just trying this or trying that or drinking this and smoking that. And it starts off very innocent and very minimal because no one just runs outside and starts crack cocaine, right? We, we start small, we start with cigarettes, we start with weed, we start with pills. Right, it's a natural progression. It's a step by step by step by step because after you've done all these other things, then cocaine doesn't seem that bad. So if you're not battling addiction, don't start. When your friends try to pressure you and when you're offered something and when you're having a bad day and when life seems down and you think this is gonna be your relief, don't start. Don't take that step. Don't make that initial step because tomorrow will be harder to quit than today. And if you don't start today, tomorrow won't be a struggle. But if you start today, you risk becoming addicted and that addiction controlling your entire life. And then if you are addicted and if you are struggling, then I'm telling you right now, make the steps, make the conscious effort to start today. I don't care what excuses are in your head, tomorrow will be harder than today because each day you're in addiction, that addiction becomes stronger in your life and it has more of a stronghold on your heart and it has more control of you each and every day that you're addicted. So make the efforts to start today. I don't know what that effort looks like to you, whether it's talking to a family member, whether it's looking into rehab, whether it's flushing those pills down the toilet, whether it's talking to your wife or your husband. I don't know what that looks like, but make the effort today because tomorrow will be harder. You can't just ignore addiction. Addiction is strong, it is tough, and it will defeat you. Paul says in 2 Timothy 2.22, flee the evil desires of your youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Paul says that those desires, they are too strong and that you must flee from them, that you must run from them, that you cannot simply sit here and ignore them, that if you are in addiction, today has to be the day that you flee from them. I'm pleading with you today. Don't think that you will be stronger tomorrow because you won't. You are strongest today because tomorrow is going to be harder. And that heartache you're facing today will not be better tomorrow. That heartache you're facing today, tomorrow's will be worse. And there will always be an excuse for a reason to go back to it. So make today the day that you overcome. Today's the day that you flee. Today's the day that you run away. Today's the day that you move forward and you never 
never look back. That day is today. And don't think that those friends that got you in it, that you could still hang out with them until you are all the way through, that you have to flee from addiction. And that may mean that you have to leave those friends and leave that family. And you have to get away from that boyfriend or you have to get away from that girlfriend. You've got to get away from that sibling, that one that is dragging you down. You may have to flee from them. You may have to leave that job. You may have to get rid of that stress, but you have to do it today. Tomorrow is not the day. Today is the day you have to do it. So if you're watching this video, this is God putting a conscious call on you. Tomorrow is not the day. Today is the day. Don't procrastinate. Flee, run, sprint, get away today. Your tomorrow self will thank you about what you did today. If not, tomorrow you'll wish you did it today. Guys, I'm pleading with you. I've seen addiction destroy lives of very, very close friends, of close family, of people who had a promising future, a promising career, that it got destroyed by addiction. Don't let it happen to you. Don't be another statistic. Stop today. I love you. I'm praying for you. Your God is with you. If you need anything, my emails in my about section of my profile on, on YouTube. Look around, you'll find it. Love you guys. Keep living that bold life.